I am Vishyama. Welcome, Vishyama. I am from the planet Threi, the twin of Earth, as you speak of it. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> It is good to speak to you. I would not call you a neighbor, but I would call you an energy that we do feel. We are more advanced than you, but not by that much. Only by a hundred or a hundred and twenty so years. But that is quite a bit of technology that you do not have. Are there questions for you? Let me tell first before I answer questions. Let me tell you about our Threea, Three, however you would want to pronounce it. T H R A E. It is a planet of mostly water, like yours. The creatures of the sea are species that are numerous. But there is one species in our oceans, as you call them, that is sentient and intelligent, and we do speak to them. They are from a form of the dolphin and whale species that you have on your planet as well. They do speak a trinary language, which is difficult to interpret. However, we have learned to break through and speak to these creatures, and they are very wise. They are now teaching us technology from... Andromeda and Pleiadia because that is where their council is. We also have many cities like your planet. We also have many millions and billions of people. I do not know the words to use for how many people there are on our planet, but it's a much larger planet and therefore we are larger creatures than you. But we look fairly human in some respects, except for the gills. We do have amphibious qualities because we felt, I guess, as evolution moved forward that we should maintain a close relationship with the oceans and waters and therefore we are amphibious. I do not know what else to tell you about us at this time but if you ask questions I could maybe answer them. I can ask one question. How old do you get? What is the average uh, age on your planet? It is slightly longer than your planet because our rotation and years are also slower in some ways. Not much slower, but slightly. So we live to be about 120 years, as you would call them. We call them Anoyas. We live 120 Anoyas, Kashas, in some language, yes. 
Can you describe your appearance? Our appearance is we do have human kinds of features and physiology except for the brain is slightly different in its makeup. It is th triply divided instead of once divided. The reason for this is that they are divided by physiology, emotion, and spirit. We do not know how that came about except that the early part of our existence we became immediately understanding of spirit and were greatly influenced by it. We were not seeded quite like your planet. We did have a more natural evolution. However, there was some influence by alien processes which helped us to become more humanoid looking, I am sure. We do have skin. It is similar in colors. Hair. Yes, we have hair, but it is different because of the tribe brain separation. It looks a little different. It does not fall the same directions. Do you have rituals? Do we have what? If you are having rituals on your planet, any kind of rituals? Of course. From the very early times when spirituality was very strong, because that is the only thing that kept the fear from us, there was many large predators on our planet, like on your planet, except we existed at the same time with them. And so the fear of them was great, but spirit kept them from us in some ways. And Karen? yes, the rituals were deeply found in and passed on. Some of them are water rituals. We go into the ocean because that is the safest place for us. I believe that's probably why we remained amphibious is most of our populations are on the coastlines and that if there is any large species that wants to attack they must come to the cities and they do not do this. We have barriers and we have things that keep them away but we can go into the oceans or waters to escape from many of them there is so much to tell but I cannot tell everything now did I answer that question my thoughts were divided from spirituality to emotions that is a different part of the brain yes that was very good thank you Vishyama hi I'm Karen it's very nice to meet you Karen very nice very. to meet you as well uh, so are you are these these creatures that are that you're protecting yourselves from would they be the equivalent of dinosaurs for us are they that sort of large or yes some of them would be considered your dinosaurs or carnivore type creatures we have given them a large space on in the centers of the continent where they can be on their own and live with this other species of their kind we do not communicate in the way that we communicate with those from the sea and oceans but they are intelligent and they do have their ways however we are not friendly in the sense that we would be close because they find us delicious 
I thought what I was going to say. <laughs> so on a technological basis, you're about 100 years in front of us. Are you, are you aware of us as a, as a planet, or are we still unknown to you? And you are, you are, traveling in this, in, are you traveling in space at this point? We are traveling in space. You have just become part of our awareness within the last, 12 of your years annuals. Have you ever visited Earth? We have not visited your planet as of yet, but we are studying it from a distance. We find that you would pro your air would probably be slightly thin for us since our atmosphere is a little more dense. However, we, it is possible we could live there for a short period of time with some there is not a word. How are your resources? Do you have enough? Our resources are plenteous because the plant in is much larger so it has much more to offer. It is, it offers things much deeper than your planet. The crust of our planet is several hundred miles considered and yours is not. What about your government? Our government is slightly different than yours as well. But there is politics as it is seen on your planet in some ways. However, dealing with multi-species such as this, the animals under the ocean and the species that are in the center of the continents, our governments must be attuned to all different thought processes. And so, therefore, some forms of telepathy are being engaged. Some forms of translations and understandings above, beyond your technology have been involved. But government is not quite as hostile and primitive as yours. We have moved into a more peaceful development. However, I must say that there are still disagreements and still times of hostility even on our world. There is not a monetary system the same as yours, but there is an exchange. I will not go into that now because it's very detailed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. It rocks. Yeah, up, yep. I, greetings, Dre. This is Roxanne. How are you? Good evening or afternoon or whatever it is on your planet. No it worries. is nice to meet you. It is, uh, let's say, most epic to meet you. Um, my question is, is your paradigm, your structure that was preconceived before you birthed yourself into what we call 3D reality, your civilization, what is the depth, if at all, the veiling from what you are, part of the eternal creator? Is there a separation that you guys are experiencing to journey, or was the veil not in place to play out that paradigm knowing you were part of all that is? That's yeah. my first question. That is a wonderful question because we do have a veil, as you do. Our paradigm is similar to yours in that way of spirituality. But we have gained access to parts of the realms just below what you would call the oversoul. That is what I'm reading from your minds, but I do not call it that. It is a different paradigm of perception for us. Is that the right way to say uh, that? And you, you call it source? Source. Mm -hmm. Source. The creator is in our midst, yes. 
and we do call on him often and it is with all creatures on our planet in different perceptions but there is a division there is a, a place where you must go through and death is part of our reality as well it is part of yours and so there we must move through these realms as different spiritual creatures and we do not even claim to understand what it is like beyond there except what we hear from those that come from there and speak to us however there are many perceptions and many understandings of what it is because I believe it would appear that when they move beyond the realm they create their own existence in the way that they want that is what they would consider perfection beautiful the other question is then since you do have a portion of the veiling in place you would get what we would call um, in our world our reality guides uh, channels much like your being channeled right now exactly. from communications with ones that have been through what you call your evolution in their own perspective to guide you so that that's in play as well it is and I can see that you have guides around you as well we are perceiving of that energy which is not energy which you are always aware of hmm. but we can feel that energy and understand it you have many of those who speak to you in many ways I see that oh yes <laughs> thank you um, and so then I actually I think that's it this is most fascinating that that was a, a pressing question for me because it's fascinating that you guys are here and I think now in our connection we can help you know different aspects of what we learned and what you learned so we're becoming the teacher learners with each other so yeah. hey thanks for coming in man that's a blast I love you <laughs> I, I love you as well in the sense that I relate to your thought processes in the sense that I relate to all three of your emotion, physical, and spiritual realms and all three levels. Thank Beautiful. You. Thank you. And you are very welcome. Is that the correct term? Yes, it is. Hello, this is Sabrina. Sabrina. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am um, yes. Go ahead. I am fine. Okay. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Um, my question was in terms of spirituality, um, do you have a message for us as a group? Yes. If I can connect to your spiritual brain portion. Ah, that is right. You are not divided in such a way. However, let your spirit, I know that you, many of you know what love and spirit, emotion, physicality, all the separations from these things are, and you bring them into one great human existence, whereas we can divide them slightly more than you can. We can access emotion separately from physical and spiritual. We can access physical separation from others. Do you understand that? That is the biggest difference between us. But when accessing the spiritual, you must find yourself in a great positive place, a great positive perception because there is no end to perception no end to spirit no end to the thing that spirit can bring and you may say well when I when I experience spirit there is emotion attacked or there's physical things attached we can experience spirit without the physical or the emotional and find ourselves in a true relationship with that who is spiritual with us in a very calm logical 
way. More intellectual, but yet very, very simple way of connecting. It is complex, but the complexity boils down into very simple terms. And we are able to move from simple to complex spiritual activity within one thought process. So therefore, we see that within your evolution, this will be part of it. This will be the part that you will understand and separate as well when it becomes time. The emotions are wonderful and you can we can access them all at once if we wish that is possible as well but it would appear that the greatest spiritual advancing is that of pure spirit and then the love the energy of that spirit you feel things within your body that cannot be felt in third dimension and you would say well is not that emotion or physical when it is of spirit it is of a different realm and it does not include those of spiritual or emotion but yes it includes that of a physicality and emotion not connected with third dimension so therefore your perception of spirituality becomes a great deal more of an awareness and of a connection with the beings that are the creators of all the givers of knowledge and wisdom of what you call the angelic realm of what you call the realms of higher dimensions but yet still we cannot reach them just like you without a great deal of help. But we can connect a little bit more closely in the sense that we can separate our spirituality from our emotions and physicality and move into a dimension above this one and experience that emotion and spirituality and physicality which is not connected to our brains and bodies. I hope that I explained that properly. I am new at this, so please forgive me if it was confusing. You did a great job. Thank you. Um, in terms of, of spirituality for your planet, um, once people started to wake up or become aware of their spirituality, um, like how long did it take before most of the planet was aware? It still took a while and the reason why is because there are three different species groups and one pulls its energy from the other just as you do on your planet your light from one another pulls you in certain directions your density as our density does pull us in certain dimensions b directions because we are also third dimensional you understand that correct yes and so it takes time for third dimension to become unified third dimension without telepathy as you know is diverse and therefore unity does not come quickly even with great spirituality and division of spirituality from the body and the emotion there are different perceptions of it and some do not accept spirituality in a positive way just as there are those that do not accept spirituality in a positive way on your planet as well so therefore this brings much division. Ah. Okay, so um, that brings me to my other question that as a whole, uh, as a planet, like what would be 
your message for us. Even though we are your twin world as far as appearance in some ways, with the blue, the atmosphere, the things of this nature that are very, very similar, we are still very different in some ways. And we are very the same in others. And we welcome this friendship because we feel that we can relate to you very well. So being that we are new to your perception and vice versa, we only are starting to contact you within the last 12 annuities. We are finding that you are compatible with us in many ways. Continue to move in the ways of spirit and bring your emotions to a higher realm. We see that you are going through the development of telepathic unity and some of you are going through empathic unities. Your psychic abilities are still at rest for 99.4% of the population. So therefore we wish that you continue on a smooth and upward path. We do see much destruction on your planet, much hatred, and much misunderstanding. And all of this is due to spiritual misguidance. Therefore, your perception of spirit is different in some ways. But we will help you with bringing that into a fuller and brighter existence. That is the way we can help you the most. Because our spirit is separate from the body and the emotion, we can more purely look upon your spirit and see how it is evolving. And therefore, we will try to separate it for you in the terms that it is on its own an experience and perception that needs no dilution. It is very diluted on your planet and on our planet it is still diluted but much less so especially for those who have broken through and understand the purity of it. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Um, it is understood in a way that makes spirituality separate from the body and the emotion which is something that will come. I see that there is one coming to your people who will bring this message in a greater way. Um, somebody wants to know about crystal technology in your planet, if you could speak a little bit about that. Crystal is purified on our planet. We purify the crystal to help with spiritual connections, of course, and with dimensional connections, of course. Also, when light is passed through crystals, it gives all the colors of the universe, which can be seen or cannot be seen, but they are all there. Do you understand this? And they each have their own power, and they each have their own uh, connection to spiritual perception. So color is important as long as well as sound vibrations and all those things that are unseen. Okay, so how do you use, do you use crystals for uh, energy balance? Crystals are used for many things, but they can be abused as well. Just like anything, all things can be positive or negative. We charge them in a, neg a negative way and they will work in a negative way. You, the, you charge them in a positive way and they will work in a positive way. And the more pure the crystal, the greater the power that can be used with it. And so, yes, we do use crystals as you do in our grids 
Our planet has grids just as yours does for power, energy, and vortexes for influence of energy on our world to keep it alive. We, the energy of our Father Earth is great. Okay, and uh, one last question. How do you define God? The, or... essence, the, the essence of all purity, love, and the greater expectation of all living and unliving beings. Actually, I should say spiritual beings, because they are alive, but not in the same way. But God is the purity and the creation of all. Sheer? Hello. Greetings. Greetings. I uh, just want to invite you, if you ever want to explore this planet, you're welcome to communicate with me and any questions that you want to ask. Would you like us to communicate in mind, body, or spirit, or emotions? Does it matter? Um, my channel open. Um, I'm not really a channeler yet, so in any way that I could uh, understand you, maybe, even physically, if you can come here, if it's possible and appropriate. We were given permission to be in all aspects in this body. That is why we ask for all other bodies to be in all aspects because we, we want to use different aspects of the personality, the physicality, the emotion and spirit and, and intellect to communicate with your people. We understand that there are different benefits to using the different aspects in any way that I could understand you and as long as it's positive you are welcome yes another member wants to know if humans could survive on your planet the atmosphere is more dense here but humans could probably survive if we thinned it out slightly you could survive here without any kind of assistance but it might be difficult because your lungs might be overwhelmed with the density so we are not quite sure we have not experimented with our atmospheres at this time but we will be doing that shortly we find that this kind of experimentation helps us to become more physically oriented to your planet. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, somebody else asked if our government has the awareness that there is life on your planet. Your government has awareness of 72 different species. We are not one but they are just finding us now they will be aware of us within months okay thank you anybody else have any more questions Sarah oh I was going to ask the others questions for them um, ah you have half more connections yes do you yes wonderful continue what can you tell me is there anything you can tell me about that on your planet the half whores were one of the first species that we came in contact with and therefore we learned much about our spirituality through their sound processes color and movement of of the they have a, a very interesting way of moving through their space and, and their existence, and we learned much from that. Very good. Would you like to connect to me as well? I would. 
Perfect. I give permission. Gratitude. Thank you. Continue with your question. Um, well, I was going to ask some of the questions the others had, but uh, how about your children? How do... Is there uh, any hybridization with other planets or... We do not have a hybridization program. Our children are born the same way as your children. The just... I am not sure of the word. The just gestation period is 11.2 months. Oh. oh, that's very close. Yes, very close. It is that we... It used to be longer, but evolution has moved it up slightly over time, as you call it. They... And we still do as well in many situations. We still use time as a guide. Yes. But, but yes, it has moved from about 12.4 months to 11.2 in the last several hundred years because the development has been quicker, is quicker, yes, faster, quicker. And so therefore it is the child is fully produced within 11.2 months. Yes, I have a friend here as well. She wanted to know a bit more about your trinary language. She says she believes she may speak it. The trinary um, language is of those in the ocean, the, the species that connects themselves with the dolphins and whale species of Andromeda and Pleiades. Yes, they speak a trinary language, which is more than one word at the same time. They can speak several words at once, and so it was difficult for us. But they helped us to break it down one um, sound at a time, because sound like Omni Hathorns helped us as well. Because uh -huh. sound is able to be broken down into different vibrations and therefore different words. And so we were able to translate their language within the last 20 of your kind of years and understand what they have been speaking to our planet about. Of course, we have the same problems of pollution and uh, different things in the oceans and airs, but we are working diligently to overcome that because it is a, a problem and we have done much in the last several years. Beautiful. Thank you for that. You are welcome. Gratitude. Um, somebody had asked if you have your own language, and if, if if so, if you could give us a sample. Could you speak Our, it a little bit? This, this language of ours cannot be spoken by your people. Our larynxes and vocal cords are different and more sound-oriented as well, and that is probably why the Hathors were dragged to us first. They were the first species that we encountered because of the way we speak. Let me give you an example, if I can, through this being. One moment, I will have to adjust the way that things are translated. As well, and that is probably why the hot or yeah, 
Is that a good enough example? Yes, thank yes. you. Thank you very much for that. Gratitude. Uh, yes. You are welcome. I'm sorry. Wrong word. <laughs> it's okay. You are doing wonderful. Um, Translating uh, now into your language, the sounds that we make in our language is much easier because of the Hathors and because of the dolphin species and the understanding of the vibration of your voices as you come through as they speak through to, to others is become much more understandable and we are very grateful to have been able to speak to you but we must now leave you there is some communications coming in from other areas that we must take and it is important that we let you go now to understand that you are of your own at this time but we will be helping you with your future and with your endeavors to move forward in your telepathic search which is quite honorable we see that you are developing it now and that it will come to pass one day when the planet of yours is then in alignment with each other at least to the 90th percentage degree there will be 10 percent that will be held back or perhaps 9 percent they're saying now 9 percent that will not accept it or will not have the ability to do the telepathic means that you are introducing however when it reaches that 90 percentile your planet will be in a much greater peace and understanding we wish you great health and love and great emotional positivity we know that that is how you connect through spirit and emotion and even part of your physicality goes out to one another in the sense that you connect in in your spirit and in your emotions but you feel it in an, a physical way so yes we understand that and we grant you great connection to one another we will move on now and come back to you at another time because there are things that need to be done here there are great things happening we understand your planet is under great stress as well but not it is not dire at this time but it could be if you do not rise up thank you thank you for your words thank you for coming here and uh, we welcome to come back and speak to us again. And I hope it's nothing serious what's going on in your planet. Prai says, we welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. And if you can bring the next beam. Yeah, oh.